Ladies and gentlemen of the Shrek Gaming Center.com video, let us spend a moment to discuss Havoc physics and multi-core processors. So I'm sure many of you have heard of Havoc. Most likely you've seen the splash screen pop up on a game before you've started to enjoy it. And of course it is basically middleware, so it effectively plugs in with the game engine and handles much if not all of the physics work within the game. Recently, We've been hearing much more from companies about how going wide is becoming increasingly important, in other words, parallelism. So just for those of you who aren't too familiar with what that concept is, it basically means you're spreading the load over multiple processor cores. So in other words, rather than having a single thread on a single core, you may have, say, the thread over two, three, four, or whatever amount of cores that uh, you feel is necessary. And this is becoming increasingly important on the next generation consoles, where rather than having one to two really powerful uh, threads available, they've instead got several processors, six that we currently know of anyway, available for games developers and another two that are um, kind of off limits for now for the operating system and other functions. Recently, Havoc have commented that, and I quote, Havoc has had a long history of multi-core support. When early dev kits of the X360 and PS3 were being circulated back in 2005, it was clear that the shift in multi-core was fully underway and would feature um, and be a major feature in the console hardware landscape. Since the previous console era, Havoc have had advantage of taking two console generations and numerous major revisions of our technologies that allowed us to heavily optimize across many across the board for many core CPUs. With the latest iteration of Havoc Physics 2013, we've been able to push the envelope even further. The goal for software targeting multi-core CPUs is twofold. Firstly, you want to remove and minimize any single threaded only bottleneck. And secondly, you want to smoothly and evenly utilize all available cores. With Havoc Physics 2013, we've been able to reach out for these milestones, allowing us to fully multi-thread our engine in all areas and also scale utilization linearly across all available CPU cores." End quote. So that is a comment by Havoc's uh, Andrew Bowell. Uh, Andrew Bowell. Uh, I'll spell that out for you guys. B-O-W-E-L-L. -L. And this isn't particularly what I'd consider to be super technical. I think it's just more an uh, kind of dotting the i's if you will that multi processors in the next generation consoles it's going to be increasingly important um i'll be interested to see if havoc uh, or other engines really start to multi uh, really utilize gpu compute right now a lot of them are just running a cpu and I have a feeling it's going to be that way for a while now. But the basic premise, of course, it has numerous benefits running multi-core. One is that you're much better able to get better performance out of it. The second benefit is that it scales pretty much at the same time. So, for example, let's say you've got one processor core. Let's say, let's just call it processor 2, right? Just to make it easy. And let's say you dedicate that processor, processor 2, just purely for physics. The issue with doing that is basically, well, assume just for a moment there's not much physics going on. Effectively, that CPU is not really doing much, so it's better when possible, and certainly it's not always possible. Um, typically, for example, the guys behind Killzone, also known as Gorilla, they used one orchestra orchestrator thread, uh, which basically told all the others what to do. So where possible, it is better, however, to spread the load, spread the love, and that way percentages scale linearly, and therefore all the CPUs can just do what they need to do. So once again, this isn't particularly anything new, it's not um, anything unheard of, and other developers are certainly doing this, but it's just further indications of the way things have come. Now, if you're a PC gamer, on the other hand, it's also a good indication that multi-core processor CPUs are definitely going to become the way forward. Clearly, of course, at the moment, you know, if you've got, say, uh, an early i3 processor, unless you've got, like, a really high-end graphics card, most likely you're going to be okay. 
this is likely going to start pushing in the next couple of years that multi-core processors are definitely going to become even more crucially important. And getting away for a moment from Havoc, it's also a good indication looking at other titles like, for example, Battlefield 4, that certainly CPU utilization is going to start becoming a major factor. Anyway, pretty short, pretty sweet, but hopefully to the point and hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.